the screw scientist. Hey guys, it's your favorite thing. I'm gold and welcome to my channel where everything that glitters is gold. Okay, so today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about my Delancey Nocturne eyeshadow palette. I actually have had this. Well, let me put this on. I've had this palette for like, i say over a month or two, and I've been using it like a lot. It's become my go-to palette. Um, I actually have it on my eyes now. I'll insert a close-up video so you guys can see like how it performs because I'm not going to be, you know, actually demoing it in this video. Um, if you guys want to see a tutorial or something like that with this palette, just let me know in the comments and I can do that for you. Um... But we're basically just going to be swatching and talking about how it performs and comparing it. So, um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's just simple cardboard packaging with the name of the brand and what it is. And then on the back, you have the ingredients. Um, it's cruelty-free recycled packaging or recycled makeup. I don't know what this is referring to, actually. Like, I don't know. But... Yeah, and it's 12 month shelf life. Then when you open her up, you have let me let me just count this real quick. You have 20 eyeshadows and then you have a row of 1 2 3 4 5 glitters. So it's a very pretty appealing palette. I paid a little over $20 for this. And, um, it also comes with a mirror, which I'm not going to show you guys, really. But, yeah, it's, I'm just going to bend it backwards. It comes with a really nice mirror. That's why I'm always reaching for this palette, because it has everything that I need in here. It has, you have your, um, your transition shades, your darker shades, your neutrals, colors, and then you have glitter as well. I don't actually own the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette, but when I saw this, I automatically thought about the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. Like, if you look at the shades, oh, if you look at the shades and you've seen the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, you'll probably see the, the similarities as well. Um, if you, I'll, I guess I'll insert a picture or whatever. Um, but if you, got, if you look at the shades individually, because this is just like... And the layout was completely different. But if you look at the shades individually and you compare them, this is definitely, I would say, a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. So if you're not looking to spend as much money as the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I think is like around $40, then definitely get this. But if you have the Jaclyn Hill palette, I don't think you need this really. Um, obviously, it's probably not as good quality as a Morphe palette, but it's pretty good. Especially for the price. Um, I do want to say that I don't really like the glitters. Because you cannot wear them without like a primer. And even when you do wear them. They like go everywhere. And they're not like. I don't know. They're not really reflective when you put them on with a glitter primer. So I use my NYX primer whenever I'm using it with a glitter and I just don't like how they look on the eyes with the primer without the primer they look better but they don't wear as well so yeah this is how they swatch and they also go onto the eyes just like this as well you actually have to sit there and like pack it on for it to actually be noticeable um and yeah so let's get into the swatches Let me get that for you. Hot 
take it from here Leave your bad thoughts behind They, they got no business here Release all your worries, girl Dismiss all your fears Just be present with me, please Just be here right here Get out of your head and into your body I know you got me too I need you to dance like nobody is watching yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to breathe I need you to breathe, 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 breathe It's as easy as one, two, three Breathe, 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 breathe It's as easy as one, two, three Breathe, breathe, breathe because the lighting was really trash over there I don't know if you guys noticed but if you look closely you'll see that these two shades right here uh, maple red and nightingale are almost hitting pan and that's because those two are my favorite There's I actually have those on my eye right now I have nightingale as a transition shade and then um, maple red all over my lid and then this blue teal shade underneath my eye called lullaby which is right here and then for this eye I have Cabernet and Silence as my transition and then I have Forest which is the green shimmer shade all over my lid and then I repeated the transition shades that I used underneath my eye so all together I do want to recommend this palette um all the shades besides Lullaby uh, Dew and the Blue Rose are very pigmented and they perform very well. They're very blendable, all that good stuff, not powdery. Oh my god. <laughs> so I do want to um, recommend the palette if you're not purchasing it for those strictly. And yeah. If you guys want to see me do a comparison of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette with this palette, I will purchase the palette. So just let me know. And if you guys want to see a tutorial of both of these eye looks, um, let me know as well. And I can do that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And remember to stay gold.